Hey everyone, so I'm going to be moving out to university in a couple of days and since a lot of you guys have been asking me about my setup before I dismantle everything and take parts of it with me and leave parts of it behind, I thought now's a good time to give you guys a bit of a tour. As you guys know, music is one of my biggest passions. The other one is gym and what you might not have realized is that I'm a massive tech enthusiast. So a lot of the things you're going to be seeing is tech. I will be leaving links in the description for everything that I'm going to show in this video. So if you see something you like, you can have it too. Let me show you what kind of gear I'm packing. I'm going to start off with the most obvious thing that you can see in this frame and obviously that is is my two 24 inch Samsung monitors. These are actually TVs that you can use as computer monitors. So they have built-in speakers, which is great because I have my PS4 hooked up to hooked up to one of them. That one actually. I don't remember the last time I turned this thing on, but it's there and it looks pretty, so I like it. Also, this is the official Sony stand for the PS4, but I don't know if you can see, it's not exactly the same color. This was the 20th anniversary edition, which they sent me by accident. I asked for the Glacier White, but they sent me gray. But I didn't send it back because if you look at the PS4 remote control, and this is really sad, but you can see the two-tone design there. And that matches the stand in the PS4, so I thought I'll keep it. So, um, anyway, moving on. This right here is my printer. What I love about this printer is everything. It's a scanner, printer, it's wireless. What more could you want? All I have to do is plug it into power and it's good to go. I can print from my phone, my iPad, my computer. I can even send an email to the printer's email address and it will print out. It will switch on by itself and print out. So no matter where I am, I can print. Another great thing is that the paper tray is inside, hidden, just as I like it. It's also got this thing here, which I'm probably never gonna use, but it's nice to know I have it. Oh my God, it's on, why is it on? Shut up. Oh my god, stop it! I didn't ask you to print anything. Okay, enough about the printer. This right here is my MacBook Pro. This is the 2014 model, 13 inches. I actually think this is better for me than the latest one that just came out, which only has USB-C ports. This thing has just about all the ports that I need. And the great thing about this is that I can hook it up to both of these two monitors and pretty much have triple displays. Here is my magic keyboard. You don't have to put batteries in it, it charges by lightning. Here is my magic mouse too. This thing charges by lightning as well, but it's a really stupid place where they've put the charge port because you're not able to use this thing while it's charging. Right here, I don't know if you've noticed, I've got these things called cable tidies. One micro USB and two lightning. This one is two amps for the iPad. This one is one amp for the iPhone. I just wanted to give a massive shout out to this San Francisco painting from a street artist when I visited San Francisco. I just put this thing up there in front of my desk just to remind me of the great time that I had in San Francisco. On this shelf, I've got a collection of deodorants, fragrances, and of course, it's not complete without my protein shake and my two pre-workouts. This C4 pre-workout is actually really good. I would recommend this one. This one does nothing and it tastes like crap. The protein shake, you know, just standard protein shake. Gets the job done, nothing special. This is chocolate flavor. The only reason I got chocolate flavor was because for some reason this one has more servings than any other flavors. I don't know why. This light right here, it's so bright, blinds my eyes. The reason I've got it facing upwards is because it gives me a headache if it's pointing directly at my face. Also, this shelf actually has a glossy finish, so the light gets reflected from that and disperses onto my desk, which is great. Right here, I've got my iPhone 6S in space gray, 64 gigabytes. I actually lined up for two hours to get this thing. Before this, I had a Samsung and I could not live with it, so I decided to go back to iPhone. It's got the gray Apple case, which I got from San Francisco. Right here is my favorite gadget of them all, my iPad Pro. This thing is like an extension of my my iPhone. Whenever I'm bored of holding this thing, I can just switch this on and it's great. It's got everything that I have on my iPhone with a big screen that I don't have to hold. And Netflix on this thing is amazing. So there's that. Uh, right here I've got my Sennheiser HD 590 closed back headphones. These things are amazing. This is what I use when I'm making music. This one cable that it comes with is 3.5mm jack with a microphone. So this is for like phones and iPads and computers. And then it also comes with a 3 meter quarter inch jack which plugs into mixers and audio interfaces, etc. So right here I've got my guitars. This red one right here is actually my first ever guitar. That's the only reason I kept it. It's actually missing a string and it's not really playable but it looks pretty so I put it up on my wall. The blue one, this is my baby. Actually, no, this one's my baby, but this one's my baby too. That's the first thing that I bought when I got my student loan. I know it's ridiculous, but I was crazy about guitar back then. This one right here, this is my holy grail. This thing costs more than these two combined. It's an electroacoustic Yamaha. You can see the model right there, NCX700. Nylon strings, because I prefer that over steel strings, and that's the one that I play on a daily basis. I almost never play the electric. Under my table, I have my Line 6 15 watt guitar amp. This is a Spider 4. This thing is primarily used as a footrest, but it's a really nice amp, it's one of my favorites. 
Anyway, I actually have a couple of books here, believe it or not. I don't really find time to read these days, but some of these books are really amazing. If you like thrillers, I recommend The Messiah Secret. This is one of my favorite books. Another one of my favorite books is Assassin's Creed Revelations. I love the video games, but this book just makes it 10 times better. Here I have my M Audio Key Station 32 keys. I don't really play the piano, but sometimes when I'm producing music, I like to have this thing to, you know, lay down a bass line. I wish I had a bass guitar, but I don't, so I have to use this, and I, I've been slowly picking it up, actually. Anyway, here I have my mic stand with this really expensive cradle for my microphone. This thing costs 72 pounds. Can you believe it? This right here is a pop filter. Over here I have my my tripod for my camera. I almost never use this anymore because I have a mini one over there, but this is still pretty useful sometimes. I'm gonna put it back in its place where it never moves from. Moving on. So here I have plenty of guitar picks because as soon as I put one of these down, they just seem to disappear into another dimension. So it's good to have loads of them. This is my mount for my camera when I put it on that tripod that I never use. Right here, I don't know why, but I have an iPhone SIM tray tool. Weird. I don't know how they got that. This right here is the most expensive capo I've ever bought. This thing costs like 17 bucks. I don't know why I paid that much for it. I'm an idiot. I have two remotes. I don't know why I've got both of them here for each of these screens. I'm an idiot, but yeah, I should probably put one of those away. This right here was a gift from a good friend of mine. The time on it is actually California's time because that's where I got it and I never really wanted to change it back when I got here because I have a lot of friends in California and I like to know what time it is there. This little thing right here is a really cheap tripod that I can use for my phone or my camera. The best thing about it is that the legs they twist around things, so just, just like a gorilla pod, but cheap. Now this thing, this is pretty cool. This is a lens kit for your phone. So it comes with one wide angle lens. This thing is amazing. And one macro lens that I never use because it's not really useful. It's just something cool to have. Right here I have a battery pack. This actually doesn't belong to me. This belongs to Omid. He left it in California when he went back to Australia. Omid, if you're watching, I'm holding on to this thing for you so you can have it back whenever I see you again. This one here is my own one. This thing is a lifesaver. I recommend everyone carrying one of these things. Anytime they go out, it's an absolute necessity. Around the back here, I've got my Sony Bluetooth speaker. This thing has so much bass, it's so heavy, it's got a massive magnet inside it. I don't know if you can see it through the grill, but this thing is so loud. We use this thing when we shoot music videos, so we put this somewhere that you can't see in the frame, and we play the song, and then sort of just lip sync to it, and it does the job perfectly. Now I'm going to show you guys my prized possession. You can see why I keep it in this aluminium case. This thing right here is my baby. I know I said that's my baby, but this is my baby too. I actually cut up this phone myself just to fit everything and make sure, you know, nothing gets damaged. That's my audio interface right there. If you want this one, I would recommend it, but just be wary that it only works with a Mac. That's the cable for that. This is a mini XLR cable to connect my microphone to the audio interface. This is a mount that I almost never use because I have the shock mount. But the reason this mic comes with this is because it's internally shock mounted, so I don't really need that, but I thought that looks pretty cool, so I got it. Anyway, this thing is so expensive. I don't know if you can see the diaphragm Inside there, but it's actually 24 karat gold. I keep it in here when I'm not using it just to prevent dust and moisture from getting inside and damaging it. This thing is so fragile. A single drop would destroy it forever. And this right here is the cable I was talking about for the headphones. So one end is mini jack, goes into the headphones, the other end goes right into there. Anyway, so I think that completes everything that I wanted to show. Oh, another thing about my screens, if you look carefully, you can see the one on the right actually hangs a little bit lower than the one on the left. The reason for that is not because this one is smaller, but because if you look right here, the arm for this one is extended a bit more, so it causes a little bit bit more of a moment around the support. Does it bother me? Yes, but there's nothing I can do about it. So I think that concludes everything that I wanted to show you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just leave them in a comment below. See you in the next vlog.